Okay, so in this podcast, we're going to talk about polyprotic pH indicators. So as a little reminder, let's just brush up on our polyprotic stuff. Okay, so um, the citric acid citrate ion buffer is used in many commercial products such as sam shampoo and carbonated drinks. You see that there are three hydrogens, so that gives us three Ka values. Um, and then we're told if the pH of soft drinks is 2.52, what is the most common species? Okay, so to even talk about this, we need to get these Ka's into um, pKa's. So let me, there we go, let me get my pen going here. Okay, so the pKa's that we have are 3.15, 4.77 and 5.19. Okay, so if we have a pH of 2.52, that is lower than the first pKa value, which means we are straight rocking the main acid. That is the most dominant species. If a student tries to make a buffer using um, 10 mils of 0.01 molar, of the HC6H5O7 2 minus and the C6H5O7 3 minus, um, again, till 10 mils, and this time 0.1 molar, what's the pH? Okay, so this is definitely a pH equal pKa situation um, plus the log of your conjugate acid, I mean your conjugate base over your acid. Okay, so because we are looking at the HC6H5O7 2 minus ion, um, that is reaction three. So, and then this is our conjugate base of reaction three. So here's our pKa. So our pKa is 5.19. And then we have the log. Our conjugate acid is the second one. So this 0.1 and the Acid is 0.01. Okay, so when you divide those two, um, you just get 10, and the log of 10 is 1. So 5.19 plus 1 is 6.19. So that would be the pH of our buffer at that point. Um, I do want to comment that these calculations, um, these concentrations didn't need to be recalculated um, because we added equivalent amounts of the acid and the base, even though they were different concentrations. So because we added the same amount, the ratio of their concentrations is going to remain the same, even if we did go ahead and recalculate their um, new concentrations. Okay, so continuing on with that same citric acid citrate ion buffer, um, Let's determine the pH of a 0 0.001 molar citric acid solution. Um, in order to do that, we need to determine if we're going to use Ka1, Ka2, or Ka3. So to determine pH, we always use the largest Ka value. That's always going to be Ka1 because that's going to give us um, like 99% of our H3O pluses, which are going to play into our pH. So now let's determine the pH of it. So um, we got our Ka is 7.1 times 10 to the negative fourth. And then that's equal to x squared over the original concentration. Cross multiply that up and then square root it. And our x value is equal to 8.4 times 10 to the negative fourth. And then if you negative log that, you get... 3.07 as our pH. Okay, so now let's throw some indicators um, into this situation. So um, I have thymol blue um, indicator. You see that there are a couple colors here. There's red, there's yellow, and then there's blue. So Looking at that, that indicates to us how many um, labile protons there are or how many um, hydrogens are hanging off that original acid structure. Okay, so before we kind of talked about like 
hey, one transition, is, one color is blue and the other one is yellow. And then we had this intermediate color, which is green. Well, because yellow and blue were primary colors, when you mix them, you make green. So that's still only one hydrogen. Down here, though, red, yellow, and blue are all primary colors. So what that tells us is that there are actually two H's on this acid, so um, our indicator. So you could kind of write it generically as that. So if I added a drop of the thymol blue to my 0 .001 molar citric acid solution, what color would it be? Well, hopefully you remember that my citric acid solution had a pH of 3.07. Um, and with a pH of 3.07, it's definitely above the first pKa, but below the second. So it's going to be this intermediate species. So it's definitely going to be yellow. And that is the HIN1 um, minus. All right. So again, looking at our indicator as this, um, at a pH of 1, what is the dominant form? Well, pH of 1 is below the first pKa, so I've just got all of the straight diprotic indicator there. At a pH of 7, 7 is between the two pKa's, so that's going to be our yellow. So that is um, going to be that intermediate species there. And then when we're at a pH of 10, that's above the last pKa, so we are going to be left with the... Um, I N two minus ion.